as the chairman just said, I was master of the Oxford birthday for 12 seasons and hunted the hounds for the last three. And during that time, we we were sabbed by Brighton, Guildford and Croydon. And a couple of things I, w- I would say um, and add to that is that we always say, uh, get one in the can. It's absolutely vital. If where you can, it's not always possible, depending on where you're meeting. But if you can get one in the can, you are doing what Mr. Hankinson's already explained is important. And you are proving your intent was to go and hunt within the law. So if you have a filmed video at quarter past or 20 past 11 or half past 11, and you have it in the can, and you have a trail laid and hounds and video evidence of hounds hunting that trail, albeit for two or three minutes, you have one in the can, which demonstrates that you clearly were going hunting to hunt within the law and simulate a day's hunting as it used to be. By 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 collating evidence and having um, having a good trail laying team, it was vital that we had that enable, which would enable us then to be able to go and do what we all want to go and do. So this wasn't about turning the old Sarah Burst and West Kent into a trail laying pack. It was about giving us the support and the protection that we needed. Uh, approximately now two seasons ago, uh, we were hunting a, um, a very popular meet. Um, we had sort of a hundred mounted, and it was a you know a good day. Everyone was looking forward to. It became clear at twelve o'clock midday that we had been infiltrated by some. 40 to 50 hunt saboteurs from both Guildford and Brighton. And it was at that point that we decided, the master of the day decided that we should revert to plan B. Uh, Plan B being, obviously, um, using our team to lay trails for the rest of the day, because it became clear that the antis that had arrived were only there for one thing. So the huntsman, Mark Bycroft, have actually been walking the country as he would have done with the master of the day two days before uh, but he'd also been walking it with his with his head trail there and so when the master of the day said you know i've got to peel off now we know what plan a is it's for you now to go and sort plan b off they went and they discussed where if there was a problem they would lay trails coordinates um i things that would stand out if they were filmed And they spent another hour and a half walking around the country, deciding where they would lay trails if they needed to. I hope I've demonstrated to you just one small example. I could give you 20, 30, 40 even, but I hope I've identified a a loop, so shown you one small day where without it, we would have been in a lot of bother. Um, 